this is in the key of E, and there's just four chords in this song. And I'll um, I'll show you all those chords, and later on we'll go over the uh, uh, the lick that he does. The thing about this song that makes it kind of unusual and sort of interesting is he's changed the way that he plays it. So he plays it way different now. He's in a completely different tuning. He's got the capo on the second fret, right? If you see those live videos of him playing, he plays it completely differently than he used to, okay? So I'm just going to show you now how he used to play it because um, I just think there's a ton of confusion about this song and how to play it, right? Um, so I'm going to try and clear that up. But even after having said that, you can play it any way you want, you know? Like, basic chords are E, C-sharp minor, B, and A, okay? And, you know, you can play the E here, the C-sharp minor here, the B here, the A here, okay? Um, there's a million ways you can play those chords. So it really doesn't matter, you know? Like, as long as you're playing those chords... Uh, it's going to sound probably pretty good. But the thing is, if you want to play it like he's playing it, and to be honest, the way he's playing it, even the old way, is sounds better than any of these ways. Okay, so you're probably going to want to do this. Not so much this one, because he doesn't do it this way anymore, but definitely the one I'm going to show you later. But let's just go over this one. Um, so he likes to fret this E chord here, okay? Like, you could do it there, you could do it here. I mean, you could could do it there right but he likes it here because you got the root and then the root again on the on the a string and the third right and then the open b and the open e problem now is the g string okay because the g string just the straight g is the minor third and here d6 is the major third right so if you play that <laughs> that g note you're you know that's a huge mess right so I know there's some guys saying that he mutes that and he could mute that he could mute that string you know just with the fleshy part of your middle finger just hang over that G string so it doesn't sound but you know that's really precarious and very dangerous you know um, if you're coming out of this chord and you have a bad change right it's just brutal it's just gonna kill it so what he's done then um, is he's detuned that G string to an E. Okay, so just take your high E. And tune your, your G string to it. So now you got it. Okay, now perfect, right? Now you can play all six strings and it'll sound really good. So that's your first chord, right? Which is, what is that? A7, D6. Next chord, you C sharp minor. It's actually a C sharp minor 7, but I'll just call it a C sharp minor. Is up here on uh, E9, A11, and D11. And again, you can play all six strings, okay? Now you just, for the next two chords, in fact, all three of these chords are just the same chord, different position. Slide that down two frets. Okay, now you got your B, which is actually a, a B sus4, but we'll just call it a B for now. And slide it down another two frets and you got your A sus2 but we'll just call it A okay so you've only really got two chord shapes that one and this one that just moves so those are your chords okay and the song used the same four chords just in different orders I'm not gonna go into the order right now we'll do that later in the new tuning and his strumming he doesn't use a pick so it's just uh, you know in the older versions very muted right palm muting back here and just keeping it very percussive right and every now and then you'll hit those chords you know but for the most part it's just keeping everything pretty muted right pretty low key Okay, and of course, in the newer way he plays it live, that's he doesn't he he still strums thumb and finger, but he's much more it's much more open, right? And in this tuning that I'm going to show you, it just sounds awesome. So what I'm going to do now is I'll just retune this guitar to the tuning he's using now, and uh, just take me a second, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got this guitar tuned properly now. 
and uh, what this is, is technically it'd be called D suspended fourth tuning, D sus four, but it's more commonly referred to as dad gad, okay, and you might have heard of that, uh, because it's D A D on the low strings, is your dad, right, D A D, and then it's G A D, gad, G A D, so you got dad gad, right, it's a good way to remember it too, and its origins are kind of in the folk genre, you know, it's uh, apparently it came from like the Celtic, Celtic, not sure how you pronounce that, but it came from that sort of uh, area, and uh, it was really big amongst a lot of folk players, but um, the great part about this tuning is this, the, uh, the chords sound so, so amazing in this tuning, because there's so many open strings, so you get a real shimmering kind of uh, sound, right? If you have never played in Dad Gad before, I, I know you'll love it because it just, the guitar sounds so good. So probably the most popular song in the pop rock genre um, in Dad Gad would be Cashmere by Led Zeppelin. And uh, not sure if Ed Sheeran fans are into Led Zeppelin at all, but that's uh, this one. Okay, so I'm sure you've heard that at some point, but that's in Dad Get, which is kind of cool. Okay, so now getting back to, to this one, um, he's playing it in the key of E, because this is, you know, when you put your finger there, that's giving you a D chord, right? Um, but he, for the most part, is playing it with a capo on the second, which puts it into E. But before we get into that, there's some videos of him playing live where he's, um, he's not using a capo, right? So he's playing it in D. I've seen one video of him playing it like that. There's other videos of him where he's he's not dad gad. He's gone down another whole tone, okay, down to C. Okay, so I'm not sure what those notes would be in C, but that's dropped down another whole tone. And then he capos two, which puts him in D, right? Okay, so whatever videos you watch, if you're referencing it to this video, to what I played at the beginning, that's in E. But he's not always in E. A lot of this is because... Um, and he's on the road and singing every night. You know, the voice gets tired and, and uh, the falsetto chorus is tough to do in E. He'll drop that down into D sometimes, right? Or even uh, drop C or C sharp. Just moving the capo and detuning the guitar, right? Anyway, so we're gonna do this just to keep it simple. We're gonna do it in E. So we're gonna get our capo and we're gonna put this on the second fret now, okay? And a good idea when you put your capo on, oh, by the way, uh, always tune without your capo you know if you put your capo in and start trying to do these tunings uh, you're gonna break strings all over the place okay so always tune it without the capo okay so we'll put this on here and a good idea when you put a capo on is just to push on your strings or just pull on them or even grab each one and just kind of stretch them out a bit because they tend to go sharp when you put the capo on right and even after doing that it's still gonna be sharp like I'm Right now, I'm sure up all over the place. So I'm gonna just take a second and uh, and tune this now. I'm just tweak it out a bit, and it'll just be two seconds. Okay, so we've got it pretty good now. Okay, so now we're in E, right? So that bottom note is E, and we're ready to play the song. So the first thing we'll do is I'll go over the lick. Um, I'll do that in the next little bit, and then right after that, we'll get into, into all the chords. Okay, so to start the song, we've got the intro. And live, he doesn't really play this, but he's got a, a looper, right? So he'll just go. And he'll just loop that, and then he'll start playing the chords. But in this tuning, it's actually not that hard to play that intro riff. It's a little bit more involved. It's a little more advanced than just the strumming part. So. Um, this would be more for advanced guys who can finger pick, right? So what we're going to do to get that is I'll just play it once. Okay, so what we're going to do here is 
We're going to start with the E string and the D string. It's the same note, right? So that'll be our first note. And then we're going to go middle finger on the high E string. And then we're just going to fret the B string on one, two, three, on the fourth fret. So we're going to go back to the high E, right? And as we hit that high E again, we're going to hit the low E again. So we're going to go... Then we're going to go, which is open B, and slide from D4 to D3, no, D5 to D4, D5 to D4, so we're going to go, and then we do it again, right? And I would use your third finger for this, because the next thing is going to be here, which is A2 and open D string. And we're going to do the same thing up here, but with our little finger. So we're going to go like. Okay, but while holding this. And as we hit that high E, we're going to hit the uh, A2 again. twice and then we're going to go open open a open d and now we can go back to whatever fingers we want here okay exact same lick just using that as the bass note right because the bass note just changes from here right to here a string and d string Again, a, a, a string and D string. Okay, so let's do that whole thing. Okay, now we haven't gotten to this part, but we're gonna just go here on one, two, three, four, five, E five, and play the lick again, right? And I like to keep that slide in there, so I go. All the while holding that note, right? Now you don't have to do that. You could go pull that off. But you know, you, you might hit that G string as you pull it off, so I like to do it like that. So let's just do that whole intro section. I'll do it real slow. And also, I threw in that that lick at the end of that chorus. Uh, for me to come. That's just he doesn't do that live. Live, he just goes. For me to come. You know, he just strums the chords, right? But if you just want to throw that in there, just hold that note, right? And you can just go. Exactly the same as the intro, it's just you're strumming it now, right? Okay, so still just four chords, and I'll go over the four chords with you. The first one is with your, and we're going to talk about like from the capo, so that'll be fret two, G2. Okay, it's just whatever finger you want on G2. That's your first chord. Your second chord is going to be up here. And we're gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, E nine, and G seven. So there and here. 
and you can tell already how much better this tuning sounds because you're you're using all open strings right and it's actually really interesting how it it morphed into this um, because playing live you know you need it to sound good right if you're just a one-man show and this tuning sounds way better so next chord we just come down to here so we've got e7 and g6 and sometimes it seems to me he's going to put his third finger on D7 to get that note, which is, you know, it's the same note as the open B string, right? But most of the time he does it, it's just like that. Okay, and then the next chord is just slide that down too. On that one, you want to just mute that A string, so you're just going to slide your, you know, mute it with the fleshy part of your middle finger. Okay, so that's it. First chord, second chord, third chord, fourth chord. Okay, so that would be your E, C sharp minor, B, A. And you, I mean, you can hear it, it just sounds so good, right? And his strumming is different too, so he's now going to strum like this. notice that he will leave that position early and take that finger up here be, just to make that transition easier so instead of going you know having to do that quick he's gonna go right so he's gonna hit that that there in the second half of that So that's basically what's happening with the song. We've got four sections to the song, and they're all just those same four chords in a different order. Okay, so the first order is E, uh, C sharp minor, B, A. Okay. And then the next pattern would be C sharp minor, A, E, B. section is the bridge the uh, wait for me to come home which is C sharp minor then A then E then B okay so as you can see like all those sections the same four chords just different orders and of course it's all about the tuning right and it's a really great tuning. It just the chords sound so alive, right? And so bright. And in fact, one of the live versions I've seen him play, he'll do the intro like this. Which is kind of cool, right? Because he's throwing this extra chord in there, which is uh, E4, G2, just to kind of before the five chord, right? Before the four chord, right? So it kind of, you know, it just adds a lot to it. Kind of cool intro. And the cool thing about this tuning is uh, you can play uh, a lot of different songs with it, like. Um, 
and the song I'm thinking of that really reminds me of this song a ton is You Too, or With or Without You, right? So... see how good that sounds right and it's super easy to play because you're only ever really using two fingers to make the chords right and once you play it like this you, you won't want to play it in the original tuning because this sounds so good right it sounds so much better really cool song and uh, really really uh, interesting to see how this uh, guitar part has morphed into this cool tuning so yeah that's it hope you get something out of it and uh, we'll talk to you next time Thank you.